In this video, we're going to learn how to use the spline tools. The spline tools are found under sketch, spline, and we have the fit point spline and the control point spline. We're going to start with the fit point spline. And immediately, Fusion 360 is going to ask us to select one of our planes. I'm going to select the XZ plane. And the way that this tool works is we're going to generate a series of points. So I'm going to click right here and I'm going to click here and notice that we have already created a curve. Even though it's a straight line, it's a curve. And now what I'm doing is I'm moving my mouse. I'm not touching the screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right here. Now look at the preview, which is a thin black line. As soon as I click on my next point, my curve is going to go from the straight line to mimic my preview. And then I can go on. And as soon as I click on this point right here, the preview will turn into the curve. And I can end this by just clicking on this check mark right here. So we've created a spline, which is mostly used to create very organic shapes. I'm going to get out of the tool by going right mouse button and clicking on OK. So we can work with this spline tool along with the line tool. If I want to close this object right here, there's two ways of doing this. I can select my line tool and I can click from this point to this point and I'm going to create a close sketch. What I can also do is with the curve selected, I can go right mouse button and then I can go to open and close spline. This is going to give me a different close sketch. It's going to be a more organic shape because it closed these two points with a spline tool. Another thing that we can do is we can delete these points right here. These are the points to my spline curve. So if I select one of these points, I can hit delete and I can delete that point and it will get rid of the curvature information that we had before. And now this point right here and this point right here are going to determine the shape of this curve right here. If I select one of these points right here, you'll notice that we have these handles. These handles are what we're going to use to control the shape of our curve. You can pull out of these handles in any direction and you can rotate them around their point. And you're going to see a little small green curve. This green curve right here or right here will give you a preview of what the curvature is going to be. So notice that the more you pull those tangents handles, the straighter the line is going to be. And the closer you pull these tangent handles towards the point, the rounder that circle is going to be and the sharper your curve is going to be. Another thing that we can do is we can add additional points to this curve. With the curve selected, I'm going to go right mouse button and I'm going to go to insert spline fit point. And now, as soon as I move my cursor over the curve, I'm going to get a crosshair. I can click right here and it's going to give me the point with the little green preview. I can also click right here and I have another point right here. Again, to get out of the spline tool, go right mouse button, hit OK. And now I can modify these new points freely. Now we're going to go to the next spline tool. I'm going to select all these points right here and I'm going to click on delete. And we're going to go to sketch spline and we're going to select the control point spline. This tool right here works differently and when you create a series of points, you're going to see that when you move your mouse, the preview will show you what you're going to create as soon as you click on another point. The points now are separated from the curve and I'm going to click OK right here. And these are the points that we're going to utilize to reshape this curve right here. So I'm going to go right mouse button and I'm going to go to OK. And now notice that when I move these points right here, I'm able to reshape the curvature of this spline right here. Again, you can select these points right here and you can also delete them and it's going to change the shape of your curvature because now instead of five points, we have four points to control the shape of this curve. I can also select the curve, go right mouse button 
and I can insert a point. And notice that when you click on this curve right here, it's actually going to create the point right here. You can see the preview on a thin black line. So I'm going to click on this curve right here. And there you have it. The point is created right here on the top. So now I can go to OK and I can reshape this curves right here. When we combine straight lines with the spline tools, we can use a constraint that is peculiar to the curvature of splines so that our line and our curve have a smooth transition. Let me demonstrate. I'm going to go to Sketch, Spline, Fit Point Spline. And I'm going to click from this point right here. Then I'm going to click somewhere in here. Then I'm going to go to the middle. I'm going to click right here. I can align this point if I hover my mouse over this line and then just go right here. And then I'm going to click on this point right here to end my sketching. And you will notice that these two points right here, let me get out of the tool. I'm going to go right mouse button. Okay. And notice that the tangency of this point right here and this line are not aligned correctly. And you will notice that for this point, its tangency is not aligned with this line right here. So we can use what's called the curvature constraint. And the way that this works is you're going to click on curvature. Then you're going to select the curve and then you're going to click on this line. And notice that we have now a curvature constraint assigned to it. I'm going to go right mouse button and I'm going to select OK. And if I was to move this point right here, notice that no matter what I do to this point, that the transition between this line and this curve is smooth. Unlike this point right here. So let's go ahead and do that one more time. I'm going to deselect by clicking on the empty canvas. I'm going to click on curvature constraint. First select the curve and then click on the line. And notice that now we have a curvature constraint smoothing that transition. What this is doing is that it's taking the point tangent handles and it's aligning them with this line right here. So if I was to click on this point and then move their tangent handles, notice that I can move them left to right, but not up and down. They are constrained with this curvature constraint to this line. Same thing right here. Click on this point and then move these handles and notice that I cannot move them up and down. So this is the curve constraint that we can use to blend spline curves to straight curves in Fusion 360.